Hello, Lina here. Welcome to this video. Today, I'll introduce you to an effective solution for budgeting your money using Google Sheets. If you find yourself consistently wondering where your money goes, this template might be just what you need. You can purchase it at a very reasonable price from my shop, or you can watch this video for inspiration and create your own layout. Okay, let's take a tour of the template. First, you noted a box displaying your total income, spending, and the amount left to spend. This provides a quick overview of your financial situation. Additionally, there are a visual chart that compares your income and spending. An income breakdown to identify the sources of your money. A spending breakdown that shows how you allocate your funds. You can also compare the budgeted amounts for each category with the actual amount spent. To use the template, you can choose the month from the drop-down menu and double-click to select the start date. The budget overview is automated and will calculate and summarize the data from various tables. The six main categories are income, expenses, bills and subscriptions, savings, investment, and debt payments. An interesting feature is that the actual money spent is automatically added from the transactions section. So before you begin, the only thing you need to do is add the name of each subcategory and their expected amounts. In the bill and subscriptions and debt payments table, you can easily track payments by using tick boxes and double clicking to add the due dates. Okay, now let's look at the money go table. It has unique design featuring cotton candy and you can see your progress by receiving cotton candy rewards as you achieve your goals. I think this feature is quite motivated because when you complete X tax or X go, you can achieve something and it's quite interesting to see how the cotton candy appear. Okay, my friend, this is all about the overview. Now, let's explore how the transactions section works. You see, all the categories and subcategories in the drop-down menus are automatically added from the overview. So, each day, you just need to simply enter your income or expenses into this section. If you want to highlight some category, you can choose in the highlight section. You can also view where most of your money goes in the pie chart and top 10 your spending in the top 10 categories. For example, if you have a debt of $500, you see it as a top spending so it is automatically arranged in the top 10 category sections. Here is the description and account section. You can write on some description about your spending or the account that you use at here, right? And that's it the money transactions. Now we move to the bills and debt payment calendar. You can select the year and the month and the calendar will automatically update. The mini calendar provides a quick view of due dates while the larger one offers more detailed overview. These dates are also automatically added from the overview section. For example, if you have a debt that I must pay in the first of 2024, first I'm going to choose due date, double click and choose a date. Right, so I have the due date. You see, is he automatically added here? Right, so now it's 2024 January. You see, in the calendar, we can see the debt payment that I need to pay. It is convenient, right? And one last thing is that you can also see today date in the mini calendar, which is highlighted with the pink color. And it's all about our monthly budget template on Google Sheets. Thank you for watching. I hope that this template is helpful for you. 
If you're interested in purchasing this template, you can find the link in the description. If you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thank you again and bye-bye.